Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We've got a K2 Reckoner 92 for you today. Really fun, you know, kind of a basic twin tip slash free ride ski, but is punches above its level for sure. Uh, we were pretty psyched to see this thing come out uh, last year, I believe was the first year. Kind of like initially hoping it would just be a narrower version of the wider Reckoners. Uh, the 92 definitely hits more of that budget price point, but that's great news for most intermediate skiers that are looking for something fun to progress on that has a little bit of a wider body underfoot, uh, nice even flex, uh, allows you to just kind of do what you want on it without being either too expensive, too demanding, or just, you know, not the right ski. This thing hits a lot of, a lot of uh, attributes right down the middle. Uh, and it's kind of a no brainer for a lot of people that are looking to kind of expand their boundaries, get a little bit more adventurous out there on the hill, uh, you know, experiment in the park and pipe and stuff like that uh, without giving up too much on trail performance. Uh, 92 millimeters underfoot. Uh, we are built with an Aspen micro block wood core. So nice, you know, mix of uh, stability and energy in this thing. Uh, the big thing is that it's mostly a capped ski. So underfoot, there's the tiniest sliver of a sidewall. Uh, and then it's kind of has that more trapezoidal shape underfoot. And then it kind of goes right to full cap through the tips and through the tails here. So, you know, a cap ski is generally going to be a little bit more quick and agile as well as more durable. So there's not as much chipping going on uh, with a, as opposed to a regular sidewalled ski. Uh, so, you know, if you're getting this for uh, either a package or just kind of a first set of skis to buy, you know, rest assured that this is a pretty durable ski, especially for uh, the price that you're gonna get it at. Uh, this is the 169 here. Uh, and on the scale, I think it's still on here. So 1,630 grams, so uh, pretty light, pretty maneuverable. You know, we talked about that ability to flex a little bit easy, so it does have that nice, uh, easy to flex feel to it that is both tip and tail, um, pretty sturdy underfoot, so you're getting that blend of attributes. And then from a shape and pro profile perspective, we do have some nice positive camber underfoot, so, you know, there's not a whole lot of, you know, uh, kind of technology in the construction of the ski. So in order to get more energy into it, they build it into the camber. So the snap is built into the ski. When you load it up, you're getting it out on the back end. And then there's some progressive rocker here. I mean, for something that's kind of hits that intermediate to advanced level, um, you know, pretty progressive rocker lines and taper shape here. So spoonier tip, you know, it does hook into the turn nicely there and then definitely more of that twin tip shape in the tail. So even as opposed to the wider Reckoners, this one has more of that kind of Site 88, you know, park emergence type of uh, splay back here in the tail. So, uh, you know, encouraging switch riding and skiing. And then we have that taper back here as well. So um, really good option for someone who's kind of interested in getting more adventurous out there on the hill softer snow, doesn't want to give up too much in terms of groomer performance. You know, again, you do get that nice energy, uh, nice agility and quickness because of the cap and then good grip underfoot with that smaller sidewall area. But I think this is a great ski for, for a budget conscious skier who's looking to either get their first pair or looking to uh, kind of evolve and get into the more free ride aspect of the sport. So make sure you check out this K2 Reckoner 92 here at SkiEssentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.